This is a drawing that Dave Crooked Eye recently put on uh, Talk Graphics and uh, the problem he was having with it was that he couldn't get it to fill and the reason it wasn't filled is because it's basically just a, a load of lines and uh, most people that have been using Zara for any length of time, Zara Extreme for any length of time, will know that um, you actually have, a, have to have a, a closed shape so uh, that won't fill but if you go around until it gets a little plus sign it will fill. Um, Sorry, just delete those. Uh, and this is the problem with his drawing, as I say, they're all independent lines and they won't fill. Uh, one way of doing it, um, as a quick way, is the way I use uh, quite often, um, is to open up the object gallery, um, select the initial step page, and duplicate it. Right, then I'll lock the initial step one and I've got an exact copy of that initial step layer here now. Um, I'll shut that down for a minute. I'll increase the um, line size by to about four pixels. I'll then go edit, um, arrange, sorry, convert line to shape. Arrange, combine shapes, add shapes. That's now just one shape. Um, um, then I'll make a box rectangle and then control B to send it to the back Then I'll select two of those, two objects selected arrange, combine shapes, subtract shapes you've then got that shape move that back um, I'll just hide that other layer so that's the shape you've got. They okay, arrange break shapes, and again you won't be able to see this, but this is arrange break shapes. Um, and you're left with that, and it's not very good. But if you go down to the um, thing, you can still see. Uh, if you go into wireframe, you can still see that the shapes are still there. Um, if you just move this, sorry, if you just move this on a side and delete it, we don't need it. You've then got these remaining shapes here. You can just go arrange, combine shapes, add shapes. There you've got one complete shape that is now filled. In fact, if you then just drag this one below the initial one, you can see you've got this filled shape. It's got um, a black shape. We don't need that at the moment, so we'll just ease that down. Um, just get the zoom tool there. If you actually zoom in, you can see that uh, the shape's a bit bigger than the actual outline. Um, you could either use a feather to just ease that shape in, or you could use the contour tool just to drag that in a bit until that comes into, covers that bit, and then hit the inset pass, which will just leave that shape. I'll zoom that back out. Um, don't really want a green dog, give them a bit, a bit more of a colour. Um, you could then possibly just go in. Hang on a minute, I don't think we've got. Let's open the initial step there now. We could make those eyes white. Make those, give those no colour and make them black. Oops. Make that. No colour. Select those there. Put them back. Uh, just zoom out. And that's a quick way of, uh, of how to filling in a load of shapes, a load of lines that uh, haven't but, um, actually joined up. Uh, that is a way to get um, a bit all together. Okay. Here we go.